what is up party people welcome back to my channel i'm jamila this is jamila be reading because i do be reading but today i do be watching okay so this is the last of the a scaredy cat takes on horror series that i'm doing this october if you haven't checked out the rest of my videos i will go ahead and link the playlist down below and in the cards above but basically i read some horror books i read some horror manga and i watched some horror movies and today i'm going to be talking to you about the horror show that i watched which was the haunting of hill house and i know i'm a little bit late to this franchise if you will the haunting of Bly manor came out this month and that's what everybody's been talking about but I'm going to be talking about Hill House because I just watched it and I see why everyone was obsessed with it it was so good oh and also I don't know if you can tell but I have this Halloween Town shirt see that hello hello um, I got it from the Halloween Town visitors destination i don't know how to describe it but basically if you didn't know at the very least the first halloween town movie was filmed in oregon in this town called saint helens so every year in october for halloween they have like a whole gathering in the town they have the pumpkin in front of the mayor's building at least it that's what it was in the movie i don't know <laughs> what it actually is irl but sometimes they'll get guests from the movies i went last year and it was fun it was super bizarre though because there was a little like halloween parade to kick off the evening and there was some anti-vaxxers in the parade it was very strange the whole experience was fun but strange is how i describe it it was uh if you're familiar with oregon if you just go even 20 minutes outside of the Portland metro area, it gets a little dicey when you're melanated. So it was a little bit sketch, but ultimately it was still fun. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I have these super cool earrings. They're snakes. I got it from this one Instagram store. I cannot remember their name, but I will go ahead and link it below because they're really cool they have so many cool pieces on their site i think it's on etsy but anyway let's let's talk about what the haunting of hill house is so the haunting of hill house is very loosely based i think on the short novella by shirley jackson that came out a long time ago i don't remember when but the show does this flashing between the past and the present type of thing where it shows a fractured family confronting haunting memories of their old home and the terrifying events that drove them away from it so a little spooky but before i get into my final thoughts of the show i'm gonna go ahead and insert some vlog footage I vlogged the week that I was watching it and got some cool clips of me doing stuff and also talking about the show and my live reactions to it. So, editing Jamila, do the thing. Do Lee, do the thing. Hello. I don't know if you can hear me through the mask, but I'm walking to Whole Foods right now gonna be baking a pumpkin pie today but I wanted to talk about the hunting of Hill House which I started last night and I only watched the first episode but it was really good it was a little freaky you know I got got a little a little bit but I'm really interested to see where the story is gonna go especially I like that it goes like present to the past showing what happened that led up to where all the siblings are right now so yeah i will update y'all a little bit later when i'm less out of breath Well, 
sort of. So I have this here pie pumpkin that I'm going to chop and put in the oven so it can be smush. That's not correct terminology, but I'm gonna bake it so that I can use it for the pie filling. And that's gonna be in the oven for about an hour. So this is gonna be like an all day process, really. Yeah, don't really know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to cut this. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I've managed to cut the pie, or the pumpkin, and I did it the stupid way. I should have gone around instead of, <sighs> anyway, top to bottom, but I digress. Now I'm gonna take out the, the, the seeds and things and then I'm gonna put it in the oven to bake. So update on me right now. I stubbed the shit out of my toe and it hurts so much now. So there's that. Um, other than that, the pumpkin is almost done baking. Oh, Sorry, I was eating a donut. <laughs> uh, the pumpkin has almost finished baking, so I'm going to let that cool. But I realize there's no butter in this house. So I'm going to let it cool while I go and get some butter for this pie that I am... You know, it was taken, taking a lot longer than I thought. But I prepared for this because I actually, for once in my life did my homework not the day of so i'm vibing right now i'm vibing it's chill you feel me This is editing Jamila. I realized that I never got any footage or anything about the pie. It, it was okay. The crust was actually surprisingly good. That was the part I was the most worried about, but the filling, the filling, there was something missing. It was not, it was not the best, but it was okay. I'm still eating it, whatever. y'all i am back from my walk well i've been back from my walk but uh i realized that i haven't really filmed much and i am almost done with the haunting of hill house so i thought i would update y'all on my thoughts i have three more episodes left but i was not expecting the show to be so <laughs> emotional you know what i'm saying uh it's definitely a lot more like family drama than I was expecting. Don't get me wrong, like, parts of it are scary. But I, I guess, okay, so <laughs> the last thing I remember, no, I watched an episode after that. I think it was in episode six when it was going through Nell's life and stuff. And how, is she the bent neck lady? Is she? <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of just like, man, was she the bent neck lady this whole time? It's just been a whole cycle of her being afraid of the bent neck lady, but then she was the bent neck lady? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of confused on that. I guess a lot of my thoughts are... I'm wondering if there was actually anything 
like actually like anything supernatural happening or if this is all just supposed to be like an allegory for like mental health issues I don't know because parts of it where I'm like oh yeah there's definitely something haunting them and then other parts I'm like well maybe not maybe like the whole reveal at the end was that this was not real I don't know one thing too I wondered I this is just like a random <laughs> theory but there is like black mold in the house like all throughout the walls and stuff and I'm just like wondering if maybe like they were inhaling all of that so, so I don't know if that does anything to your mind I don't know this is just, this is just like a wild theory that I came up with that I don't necessarily think is the correct answer so I guess we'll find out at the end here I yeah it's definitely emotional I got got many times especially I just watched the eulogy episode so that was sad so <laughs> yeah I'm really enjoying it so far I really like it everyone's really good at acting also oh my gosh the actress who plays adult Shirley is the same actress who plays Esme in Twilight, <laughs> which I thought is so funny. I, for the whole entire episode, I just kept staring at her, wondering why her face looked so familiar. I'm like, yo, who is this? Who is this? And I finally looked her up, and it was Esme. I'm like, wow, who would have thought she was a good actress? You couldn't tell from Twilight, because she had maybe like the three lines in the entire series anyway she's really good in this show honestly all of the acting is really good the casting for the younger kids and them as adults is really good too so yeah that's those are my thoughts right now all right so let's jump into my final thoughts of the haunting of hill house i finished watching it yesterday and i think i talked a little bit about my thoughts then I don't think I talked about it once I finished it so anyways so first of all I was not expecting this show to be more of a family drama than it ended up being I don't know I guess I didn't really know what this show was going to be about I knew there was a haunted house and that's pretty much it I thought it was going to focus more on the scary supernatural aspect, but really the show follows these five siblings who are reconciling with their past and the events that led up to their mother's suicide. So editing Jamila again, I just wanted to quickly clarify when I said suicide in quotes. I'm just not sure if that's how it's supposed to be interpreted or if the house was actually haunted and the ghosts led to her death. But I just didn't, I just wanted to clarify because I didn't want it to come off as insensitive because I just, I'm, as you'll see further down this video, I'm unsure of how the show is supposed to be interpreted, but yeah. I think the biggest thing for me that I find interesting, and I think, I don't know, is the ending supposed to be up for interpretation? Because... A lot of it is me wondering if the ghosts are real, if the supernatural aspect of it was actually real, or if it was all kind of supposed to be like an allegory for mental health issues, for trauma, and all of that stuff. And I'm kind of split both ways, especially by the ending of the show because there's a couple things that lend towards you thinking that oh this is like the ghosts and stuff are real and there are other aspects of it that make you think it wasn't and it was just um a way to show these people dealing with their trauma so at the end one thing that made me think that the ghosts and stuff weren't real was Theo so throughout the show it is implied that Theo has some sort of ability to feel, I don't know, energy, vibes, maybe memories by touch. And she wears gloves through most of her life because when she touches, when she has that skin contact, she can feel these things. And 
that never really gets truly explored. At the end, when she's moving out of her sister's like guest house, she leaves behind her gloves. And so it makes me think that, oh, this was just like she was able to move past her trauma and she doesn't need to wear these gloves anymore. The other thing that makes me think that the ghost stuff was not real was Shirley. Uh, we find out that Shirley cheated on her husband years back and she keeps seeing the guy that she cheated on him with and presumably he's still alive. There's never been any indication that he died. So, I mean, he's not a ghost in the sense that he's dead and he's a spirit coming back to haunt her. It's a ghost of her memories, a ghost of her uh, infidelity, if you will. And so, again, that just kind of makes me think that the ghosts were just a way to explore these themes. But on the other hand, we do see all of the ghosts at the end when Steve is leaving the house. And the Dudleys, uh, there's like a little scene at the end where Mr. Dudley is taking his wife to Hill House so that she could die there so that her spirit will continue to live there. On top of that, they um, it turns out that Olivia, the crane matriarch, uh, accid accidentally kills uh, the Dudley's daughter and uh, her spirit stays on and they all want to still see her and visit the house. I don't know. This is just me like trying to find like the deeper meaning of this show. It really honestly could go either way, but I thought it was really good. Definitely cried <laughs> like a couple of times, not even a couple, a lot, especially that eulogy episode. I was like, ooh, uh, but I really enjoyed it. And there were parts that scared me for sure, but it wasn't as scary, at least in the moment as I thought it would be. What was interesting was that I had some really weird dreams during the week that I was watching this. I definitely dreamt of the bent neck lady. And, oh man, that's another thing. The whole thing about Nell has been the one haunting herself the whole time. Oh man, I don't know. How do I, <laughs> how does one interpret that? It's all very interesting. Um, maybe some of it is going over my head. But alas, uh, I don't really know how to wrap this up. It was really good. It did scare me. I had some really freaky dreams. I am definitely interested in watching Bly Manor, though probably not anytime soon, just because, you know, I'm kind of done with some of the spooky stuff, at least uh, for now. <laughs> Uh, this has been an interesting month for sure. I do want to delve more into the horror genre in the future, but for now, that's a wrap. If Again, if you want to see the other videos in this series, I'll have the playlist linked down below. I worked really hard on them, so I would appreciate, you know, the views, the comments, the interaction. But don't forget to subscribe, you know, like and comment. Let me know uh, what your favorite horror medium is, whether you like to consume it through movies, books, all of the above. And you can follow me on Instagram, Jamila B. Reedon. You can follow me on Twitter, at Jemmy Londo, where I get a little more spicy. <laughs> you can add me on Goodreads, all of all of it, as I always say, but I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.